Google is making some moves. They showed off a tablet and added some features to the Nexus One. To discuss this, we've got Kevin Harder and Jonathan Strickland on the bottom line. Try GoToMeeting free for 30 days. Visit gotomeeting.com slash tech podcasts. Google showed off a concept video of a tablet running their Chrome OS. They always look good, but then again, it was just a concept. Jonathan, what did you make of this? Well, I thought, like you said, the, the concept video looked good, but we saw the same sort of uh, concept video from Microsoft with the Courier, and of course that hasn't really been seen since. Uh, concept videos are, are nice to get you all excited and uh, interested in a, in a concept, but um, that's really where it ends. Until we see a physical product, uh, I'm not going to get too wound up about this. Kevin, do you see any reason why a tablet form factor, which is being pushed like crazy these days, would take off now when it's failed in the past before? I mean, is there some kind of killer app that people have figured out now that we just didn't see before? Yeah, actually, I think, uh, I think it has a much better chance of working now because the Internet access is available, uh, you know, nearly everywhere, and it's good Internet access. So uh, these devices, instead of being replacements for your computer, are really a, a great um, uh, kind of extension of your computer. And I think that the processing power and everything that they're putting into these tablets uh, combined with the Internet access it becomes a much different device than it was, you know, eight six, eight years ago whenever Microsoft was pushing them. So Jonathan, what do you think of Google's move to add uh, multi-touch, the Nexus One? I mean, it was it's their phone, it's their flagship phone from HTC, and now they finally added something different to it. What do you think of this? Um, well, I think it's a long time coming. We know that, that Android has supported multi-touch for a while. Uh, I am a little disappointed that it is going to the Nexus One and not necessarily to any of the other Android phones, mostly because I happen to own an Android phone that is not a Nexus One. Uh, you're biased. Uh, yes, I am biased. I will preface this. But uh, I think it's a good move. It, it definitely puts the Nexus One more on a kind of a, a, a competitive field with the iPhone, although I still think that the Android phone is more of a geek, gadget, tech head type phone. And the iPhone is pretty much everybody else. Yeah, especially since getting the Nexus One isn't exactly the easiest thing you could do. Kevin, do you mm -hmm. think this is another shot at, at Apple? I mean, they seem to be having this nice little lover's quarrel that's been going on for, I don't know, like a year now? Well, I, yeah, I, I think that Google's doing really well at uh, copying and, and trying to overcome, you know, Apple's success, of course, too. Well, the Android, Chrome OS, um, and, and the tablet. And, and now uh, we've got the same uh, Apple-like um, uh, the, sorry, the same Apple-like uh, uh, withholding features until the cu the customers and the, and, and the the people the public complain so much that they finally add those features. That's uh, an interesting point. I mean, the fact is you're calling them out for copying Apple for it. kind of a thing that people hate Apple for. Oh, you don't want cut and paste? That's silly. Uh, oh, wait, and now the latest and greatest cut and paste. I mean, if they're going to copy anything, that's kind of a strange thing to do. But you know what? Now that I think about it, that's uh, the wrong characteristic to copy. Uh, guys, guys, I think we're out of time. Thanks to Jonathan Strickland from HowStuffWorks.com and Kevin Harder from Backslash Technologies. You can find his stuff at BackslashTech.com. If you, the viewer, that's right, I'm talking to you, agreed or disagreed with anything that we said or agreed or hated us, whatever, let us know in the comments. There's the link. It's up right now. Join in the conversation. I'm Aya Zaktar, and thanks for watching services provided by Rundown Creator. Big League Production, small producer price. RundownCreator.com.